This patient we are planning for upper rehab. However, lower anterior also we are extracting. They are predominantly weak and they are in severe deep bite. And retaining it may compromise the upper implant and processes. So we are planning for canine to canine extraction and three implants. We will see the panoramic view. The bone is good. There is no problem with the bone. We have to do some mild agroplasty then and place implants, then only we can move the occlusal plane to the appropriate level. You will see the post up. Right side we have used BCCEX. Okay. So going till the um, lingual cortical plate, we should not perforate it. This is 17 mm BCSEX, smooth surface implant. The middle implant is a very small diameter, 3.5 into 14. If you see clearly, you can see the lingual vessel coming here. And this is the lingual vessel. So whenever we are placing implant in the anterior mandible, better to select a shorter uh, length to avoid uh, going to the canals lingual canals this is also bcx cx so this situation is not ideal for uh, bcs because the bone is osteoporotic and it is not ideal for compressive rough surface implant also because buccally there is a bone defect in the canine area you can see the, so these situations are ideal for bcs cx since they are smooth surface even if there is very less um, buccal plate defect in buccal plate it doesn't matter and by its design it will get good stability even in osteoporotic bone.